Hey guys, I'm back. I apologize for not making reviews lately, and here's the reason why. I've been building a really large Lego parts sorter, and it sits 5 by 10 feet, and here it is. Okay, I'm going to be showing this off in public for the first time in the upcoming Philly Brick Fest, which actually starts tomorrow, which is funny because this is about 90% complete. It's actually not finished yet, but I figured for the time being, while the place is quiet, I can just make a video of it real quick and show you what it's all about. So this way, if you're not attending the convention, you can still see it right here. And uh, obviously you want to see it working. Now, before I do that, I just want to explain a few things. It doesn't sort all of the Lego parts, but it does sort most of the common parts that are currently produced, such as one by bricks, two by bricks, one by plates, two by plates, four by plates and six by plates which actually go along the top here and towards the end it also sorts axles and tile pieces all right so enough talking let's show you how this baby works to get this baby started i have nine rechargeable battery boxes that i have to turn on yep nine of them and they're expensive too but anyway here's one of the main ones and this is the one that controls these two long conveyor belts and these send the parts all the way down to their designated modules if you look at the bottom, these modules are actually inspired by Akiyuki's automatic lift arm sorter. And I basically borrowed the design from him, and it's okay, I got the permission from him, and I'm definitely giving him credit for it. And I basically modified them each to sort specific parts. And these all have their own battery boxes, which I have to turn on over here. And here's another one. It's a little awkward, but there we are. So the machine is all turned on now, and this is the bin where the parts go in. And just for demonstration purposes, I'll just drop them one at a time just so we see what's going on. Okay, so we got a tile piece, we have a plate, and we have an axle piece. So they go down here. Naturally, the bigger plates will go down this way. Anything smaller than that will go down this way. And they'll pass through there. Where do they go? Okay, now the plate should be dropping off really soon. Okay, there's the plate, and there's the axle piece, and the tile piece just went down this way. And it goes into these cups below. There it is. And same thing with the axle piece. And if you look on this side of the brick sorter, there's a whole bunch of pick brick cups. Yeah, I'm like Lego's best customer, or one of them actually. I guess that's it for now. You'll see another video of this later, especially after it is fully completed. But if you want to read more about it, you can find out more information on my new redesigned website, brickformula.com. It has a new look and it's actually a blog now too. And what I plan to do is post my theories and updates and additions that I'm making to my really large parts order. Because I intend to have it sort just about all the parts that are currently produced. But it's going to take a while, maybe in the next 10, 20 years, who knows. But it's a project that I will work on every now and then, just to update it and everything. And you can follow it on my website. And just to give you a preview, here's the little mechanism that I made to hopefully sort Technic bricks from regular bricks. So you'll see more information like this later on. And, and I guess that's it for now. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.